So Lori Lee and I are off to uh, Walmart just to do some uh, normal, normal things for once. Um, but I do have to pick up more glow sticks for the donation box. But take a look at this. The neighbors. The neighbors are getting it in the spirit. They've got some pump jack o' lanterns out there. I was about to say pumpkins, but there's a difference between pumpkins and jack o' lanterns. Jack o' lanterns, but we all know this, right? Did you just say normal in reference to me and you? <laughs> that's, that's not right. We just got through stopping at the costume shop to pick up some uh, makeup for uh, the awesome freaking makeup artist. And Lori Lee said that she should have posted a flyer there the other day, and I'm said, map coulda, woulda, shoulda, didn't. But she said, but we did now, and it's not Halloween yet. And I'm like, oh, that's right. Because guys, understand, please understand that I usually only do the haunted house on Halloween or like the day before. So this is like Halloween all over again. So this is like so cool to be able to like do this. Because we did it Friday and Saturday, and you were kind of had it set in your mind. It was like already over. Yeah. We still got another night, and it's a big night. Yeah. And Halloween's not here yet, so freaking awesome, I'm happy. You see the smile on my face, and I, I'm, I'm rested now, too, so I feel better. And they let us put the uh, flyer up by the door. I wish I would have thought of that before the weekend when there was so many people packing in there. But they just let us put the flyer up, so hopefully from now until Halloween, people will be catching it and using the QR code and getting to our house. Yeah. And my teacher is letting me do a little presentation in class tomorrow to get everybody to go, too. She doesn't know it yet, guys, so I want to get her reaction, but we're doing something tonight that everybody's going to enjoy. We are? What? Can't tell you yet. It's a secret. Does it have to do with something to eat? Yes. And then something else. Well, you guys aren't going to enjoy the eating part, but yeah, it's going to be something else. You guys are going to love it because today, not this hour, but this day, it marks the one-year anniversary that we met. Yes, it did. So, it's a special day, guys. And there she goes playing with my hair again. So, one year ago to the day, this lady sitting across from me came to the haunted house. She was one of the last ones to go through. I met her out front. We shook hands. And I was kind of thinking, oh, how you doing? But my luck, all the pretty women are already taken or whatever. So, I didn't think much of it. And a couple days later, we get together. This, this day in my life meeting you. Aww. So anyway, we're out to dinner right now, but guys, don't tune out. It's gonna get Halloween related really quick here in just a second. Mark my words. And she still doesn't know. No, I don't, you keep me out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'll give you guys a hint though. Are you ready for a hint? Hey, that's not fair. All is fair in love and war, baby. War, I don't want no war. This is love, so everything is fair. All right, there it is right there. Can you guys see it? Mwah. Two years ago, I went to this place called the Fright Factory, and I talked to the owner via email today. Lori Lee doesn't know it yet, and it's kind of a surprise because we first met at my haunted house, so I figured, you know, it'd be a cool treat for you guys, a cool treat for her and I, because it's our one-year anniversary and we're doing a haunted house. It just makes sense. The other night, I think that I put it on the vlog, like the, the traffic that was out front, like front and back, I just showed it really quickly, and if not, not. This is what it looks like on a normal quiet night. There's only like what two three cars on the side of the road the one that you can't see and then going the other direction There's only one car on the side of the road It's a miniature haunted house <laughs> How cool is that? All right guys, I know that you can't see us again. It's Halloween. It's dark, but we're about ready to get up to the <laughs> Fright factory haunted house and you can hear the screams. And I figured that it was fitting, and I just got through telling her that because we met at a haunted house, it was fitting to go to one. So we are here with the owner of, I, I'll, I'll let you go through your whole spiel of like websites and everything like this, because this is really an honor to be able to go through this. Okay, well, my name is Dennis Wink. I'm the owner and operator of the Fright Factory Haunted House. Uh, we're out here in Buckley, Washington, 400 A Street. Uh, this will be the tenth year at this house, and then we'll be moving about three miles east of here to a old dairy farm, and we're going to convert that into a 
probably one of the largest haunted houses in the area, so hopefully all, all goes well and we'll be able to scare the crap out of people for another 10 years. What I really love about this place, and I told you that I've been here two years ago, is that it's got the home haunt, the, and I don't want to say basic in a bad way, but it's got the basic scare crap. They've got themes, they've got awesome sets, and it's it's all just, I don't know, I don't know how you would describe it. It's just really well, cool to get down to the basics. I guess I would describe it more as, uh, this is uh, how Haunted Houses started out to be before all the, the big uh, animatronic people came out, the, you know, the, the Disney's and uh, MGM's and uh, Universal Studios. With the, this is how they used to be. I mean, bare bones, nothing super, super fancy, but just really scary. And really good sets. <laughs> yeah, we spend a lot of time on our sets. Uh, we have a lot of uh, really talented set designers, and we try to go overboard with the detail because if you can see it, uh, I believe if you can see it in the white light, you know, it's going to show up under show light, so we try to detail everything out as best as possible. And you go through, re I mean, granted this is the last year, but you go through redesign every yeah, we, year, uh, we keep redesign it fresh. everything uh, every year, so our audiences always see something new, or they might see a little bit of what they seen last year, and they say, oh, I remember that, but uh, there's always a little twist to it somewhere at the beginning or the end, so it's not always the same. Awesome. So the website is? It's uh, www.frightfactory.net. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. No problem. You guys rock, and I've got a lot of favorite haunts, and this is one of my favorite. <laughs> Appreciate it. So you guys, um, if you're able to, uh, how late are you running this year? Uh, we'll be open until 9.30 tonight, uh, and then Halloween night, uh, we'll be open from 7 to 9.30 also. So uh, we've got two more nights. So if you guys live in the area, get your butt out here and check it out. I like sitting here just listening to the screams. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you guys. Um, they said that they have between 40 to 50 actors tonight, which is like crazy. But it's, it's so awesome because there's somebody popping out of everywhere. And some of them were expected. Some of them weren't expected. I just really like this one. What do you think? Oh, it's definitely interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get back home. Lori Lee's got homework to do and she needs to rest her doggies. Because her doggies are woofing. Woof, 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 my woof, belly. woof, 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 woof. Before we get into COC tonight, I just want to give Dennis a special thank you for letting us come out and tour his haunt and sit down and talk to us a little bit. Um, it was really cool. And not to downplay Scott's from the other night, both of these haunts are freaking awesome on their own caliper. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, um, again, thank you. So you guys, uh, go check out the links. And then, um, you know, if you guys are in the area, check out the haunt. And if you go there, just say that Halloween Hellmouth sent you. Same for Scott's, just so that they know that, wow, somebody from the vlog came down here. That's kind of cool. So let them know. Anyway, CSC, ready? Yes. Kali, are you ready? <laughs> I guess that's a yes. No? Okay, well, <laughs> whatever. Um, Jesus Alvarez, what are you guys going to do with the haunted house after Halloween? Put it in our pocket. <laughs> We're just going to take it, you know, fold it up, tuck it away, and put it in the pocket. I wish it that was, it was <laughs> that easy. Um, no, we're going to tear it all down. And I had wanted to get all the panels into storage, but... There's no way. You'd have to you'd, you'd have, have to rent to three storage spaces just to put those in storage. Well, I've, I've measured it out. We'd have to rent two, and that'd be double the cost of right now. So I can't remember who said it, but what I'm probably going to end up doing is stacking them in the backyard and then using... Did I say pallets? I hope I said panels. And then taking two of the panels and making like a roof over both of them using some of the scrap plastic, wrapping them up. And the bacon ghost, is that a new commenter? Or did I just miss I it one night? Never heard of it. I believe you're a new commenter, so thank you. I wish I lived near you so I could visit your haunt. My brother and I do our own yard haunt for several years now and we dream of going pro. We've really upped our haunt over the past couple of years and are looking forward for trick or treat. Sadly, that is the only night we put on our haunt. You and your haunt are so inspiring. Well, thank you. Um, we started out, or I started out, by just Halloween night, 
and you know all the work that we did even though it was just in the front um, all the you know all the work I did was just for one night so it takes time you know baby steps that was that's what Scott was saying last night um, is he has an offer to do another haunt somewhere and he's like yeah baby steps well, yeah I couldn't imagine running two because I mean it'd be like you want to put all your focus in just one baby <laughs> you know and it's just like it seemed like it would be really distracting well, um, that's why you need a good core group of people, ones that you can trust and count on to uh, to take care of your stuff when you're not there. Borg X two six nine. So I can't wait to see you guys go pro next year, and I would suggest you go to the Trans World Prop Show in St. Louis next March. I would love to. Budget though and time off probably won't happen, and then you baby. know, well yes, and baby also. Um, you know that that's a big consideration also but the other thing also I've just said also like five times um, that's okay I just did in my Spanish paper too oh Lily Lee's oh no you're not you're facebooking when you should be working no my paper's right here uh, just one click away uh, right there oh okay <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway um, any finances or anything are just going to be there to get us open that's the big thing get open and it's it's so much more than just props and everything you know associated with a haunt like we do at home there's so much red tape and bureaucratic stuff that you have to cut through and business stuff and licensing and inspections and all that stuff that you have to go through so it's a lot lot more yeah I heard that from both uh, places that we went to from both of the owners yeah all the all the things that you have to go through and it sounds uh Sounds like a good, good healthy investment it's going to be. I've told you, I'm not a meat sickle. Lay off. Stop it. Stop it. Awoken Nightmare, it's very cool that you got to see behind the scenes at another haunt. Did you guys learn anything or see anything that you want to use from next year in your haunt? Um, yes, I did. All of Scott's egresses yesterday. And unfortunately, we, we didn't have enough time tonight because Lori Lee had to get home and, and do the paper uh, to tour the haunt there tonight more. Well... But... You kept it as a surprise all day, so I didn't know what we were doing. So, you know, I, I had Troy go grocery shopping with me because, you know, we need to pay attention to everyday life, too. <laughs> but then I didn't know where you were taking me, so I didn't know. Sorry. 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 Um, Sorry. Uh, what was I saying? Hold on. Let me read the comment again. Scott, in his egresses, he used all of his egress. He has doors. They're push-out doors but he doesn't use any kind of cloth or anything else other than plywood doors that you push out and they close again. And I really, really like that because as you're going through the maze, you're not confused as to where to go because we have had a couple people that have seen our egress, even though I tried to clever, cleverly disguise them. We've had some people try to go out through egress. You have? Yeah. Oh, or from the they study got... and stuff? In the study and... Because they didn't try it in the dining room or kids' room. No, they didn't. Um, but they did try it in the bathroom and the study. So, you know, if you have just plywood doors that blend in with everything else, you got it covered. So I like that. Bark Elsie, thank you to Scott and you guys for the behind-the-scenes look at the at Cube. I also wanted to share that you... Your plastic technique with the addition of hose clamps to hold wood to piping withstood 57 mile per hour winds. The haunt lives. Nice. I love that. Um, my only suggestion is, um, I, I'm not sure if you saw it or not, but instead of using hose clamps, you can take the duct tape and you can wrap it tight. Like if you use those the little boards, which I think that you're using, if you use like a thing of duct tape up top in the center and down at the bottom and just wrap that stuff really tight, you can achieve the same thing that you get with the hose clamps. And if you're on a corner, so you need to run plastic this way and run plastic this way. You're on a corner, you can take a piece of wood this way, wrap it up, and then take a piece of wood this way and wrap it up. That way you've got two corners to staple to. But awesome, I'm glad to hear that. Yay! Jason Panic, the Frankenstorm killed my haunt this year. It's now a swamp. How is it affecting you over in Washington? Well, nothing over here. I mean, it's just usual sogginess here. Uh, but yeah, that's just up there in the northeast, and my whole family and everything lives back in New England, so I know exactly what's going on up there. 
I'm sorry that that happened to you. I can tell by everybody's comments and family back home it's the second year in a row that Halloween has pretty much been canceled. And I know a lot of you have commented that, you know, your haunt's ruined or you can't do it this year. And I'll just say Hellmouth, which means Lori Lee, myself, Keith, everybody. Um, and I posted it on Facebook earlier. I mean, our hearts go out to you. Um, both haunters, friends, viewers, followers, hellions, friends, family. I think I said friends twice. You guys were friends. Um, but yeah, so, Godspeed. ABC Noise Tube. Uh, now you know why we all sit and watch blog TV. You experience what I love about haunters. Everyone is truly willing to give and help each other. Thanks, Scott Colin. You need to come see us at West Coast Haunters Convention next year. And it was Brooke Z 69 that was in the UK and stayed up all night watching Blog TV on Friday. All right, so shout out to them. Yeah, and um, yeah, it, when I was doing Blog TV, or I was watching it Friday and Saturday, and or mostly Saturday, I kept on spelling your name wrong, Cindy. I am so sorry. <laughs> I kept saying spelling it C I N D Y when it's C Y N D I. So sorry about that. Yeah, well, at least we didn't kick her out this time. No, I like I seriously I had this dream about it last night. I'm like, oh. was I spelling her name wrong? And then I looked. I'm like, oh, now I feel stupid. I should have said this earlier in the vlog because I know a lot of people tune out for uh, COC. So if you guys hear this right now, post it down in the comments. I had a nightmare. Oh, wait, hold on, stop. Let's go back just a little bit. Um, Scott Colling was actually at West Coast Hunters Convention this last year. Yeah, he was. And I'm pretty sure he was there the year before, too, because I remember seeing the cute van. It's just I didn't know who him, he was. Him and I think it was Brando, his name, and then the eyeball guy. Yeah. The crazy eyeball doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was they, there, too. All three of them were there. So Okay, so flash forward to what I was talking about just a second ago. I had a nightmare last night. When I was editing, I had to go out back because rain was coming down so heavy. I wanted to check out the haunt. I had a slice of plastic in a few different areas when I went to bed that night. I had a nightmare or bad dream that I took out like the the camera and the monitor because they were soaking wet and I left my computer in there in my dream. I pulled all the stuff out, but in my dream I took the computer out and I was holding it like this and water was just like coming from the computer. It was all ruined. So I woke up and I was like <laughs> as much as I love it and everything. Yeah, like you said, I'm kind of looking forward to Christmas. <laughs> Time off. <laughs> no, just a cleaner house and things put away. <laughs> All right, guys, happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Happy haunting. Happy haunting! <laughs>